This video shows how to set up and use a PS2 controller for playing games on a PC for when the controller is not recognised, such as online browser based emulators. Importantly, I found that this will only work with Type A PS2 controllers, but not with Type H, nor even Type A PS1 controllers. I bought a cheap PS2 USB adapter online. Once plugged in, check that the power is getting through by pressing the analog button. If yes, then the red light should show. Keep in mind that you will need to press this button every time the controller loses power, such as on plugging, if you want to activate the analog sticks. The software I use is joy to key and can be downloaded and used for free from their .NET website. There is a license reminder, but this is optional, so really it's if you wish to donate to the creators. As I've already downloaded it, I can't show you the full process, but it is very standard. Once installed, the first thing I recommend is to go to Settings, then Preferences, and uncheck the default Minimize instead of Exit when the top right X button is pressed option, as there is already a Minimize button on the window, and going through the File tab to exit the program is inconvenient. Also ensure the Highlight Pressed Buttons option is checked, as this is very useful, as I'll show you now. Now you can press the buttons on your controller and see that they are being detected correctly by the program. You should make a note of which button number refers to which controller button. The analog stick inputs do highlight, but it's easier to check them in the settings through configure joysticks. The other buttons should work as before. Here you can see the analog sensitivity. If they are not responding properly, this can be fixed in the calibration tab. Which keyboard buttons you want to map your controller buttons to depend on the software you want to use it on. For example, here is an online emulator that isn't detecting my controller as a gamepad, but also allows keyboard assignment. It is possible to edit which keys are for which output, but I don't think it's necessary. Using those key designations, I can then map my controller by using the bulk assignment wizard. This is why it's important to note which button is which. Double-clicking the selection will open a more advanced window that allows you to add a comment. I find this useful to label the inputs. Now ensure that the buttons are mapped correctly. Here I'm just showing that all Joy Key does is turn your controller into a second keyboard. So now, instead of using the keyboard to play the game, I am able to use my PS2 controller.